All right. Good afternoon, Chanel. How are you today? I'm fine. Thank you. And yourself? I am doing good. So you and I have been chatting off camera in regards to where you're at in your current career and what you're looking to do next. But in order to get to that new opportunity, let's start by learning a little bit about you and what you've been doing most recently for work. Okay. All right. Tell me about your most recent position and what a typical day looked like in that role. Um, basically, I'm um, collecting payments from various patients, helping them with making payments, setting up payment plans, um, providing information whether or not their coverage is active, inactive, basically helping them pay their bills because a lot of them have really big balances. So sometimes it wasn't where the insurance was applied at the time because it's for a hospital. So sometimes an emergency room where they don't have all the information. So to add up with a bill, we have to kind of dispute what's going on, do some research to find out what happened. Okay. Be like an investigator basically to find out and help them. Okay. Now tell me a little bit about the volume, just so I can kind of get an idea of the scale of the organization that you're supporting. How many inbound, outbound calls or transactions would you say you're working on per day? It's a lot. Um, normally my least busy day is about 40 total. And okay. that's inbound and outbound. I can make over 40 outbound calls, but that's not including the inbound calls that's coming in. That's stopping me from making the outbound calls. And then those are payments coming in. Those calls could be a little bit longer and lengthy. Okay. All right. Fantastic. And so then as you are on the phone with these customers, you are then working in a database of some kind, I would imagine, right? For like yeah. documentation and to process these payments. How were your KPIs managed in your last position? It's on a scale we get graded on in certain points as far as accident for verification because it is patient information. You have to be very careful with releasing information to just anyone because sometimes the spouse are not on there. The, the husband's chart, you can't just give them everything. And if they're around, we get a verbal okay to continue the conversation. If not, the conversation is very vague where we can give little to no information or it can have okay. their spouse call back in. So if you don't verify that information, it could be a red flag and it could be a HIPAA breach also because yep. you just don't never know. Okay. Now, were you guys, since there was a collections piece to this role, were you guys got like better marks if you were able to collect, you know, certain amount of money each week or what did that yes. look like? For, for the month, you have a certain amount that okay. you need to um, reach. Sometimes you're able to make it, sometimes you're not because, and then the payments don't come in sporadic all the time. It's sporadically. And then sometimes it comes after the close of the month and that doesn't go towards the last month. It goes towards the following month. So sometimes yep. when you miss it, you may miss it by a little bit. or may miss it by a lot and that could hinder you because your whole point is to make a certain amount of money for the business, but sometimes is the patient don't have it or you can't get the patient. Okay, all right, fantastic. Now, when you're thinking about your next opportunity, what skills do you think that you would be bringing to the table that would be of value to the next company that you work for? Um, reliability, um, I like working in healthcare, I've always done it, but I think, I'm very versatile where I've dealt with so much different types of patients, whether it was in mental health, because I worked in a mental health facility before. Um, I've worked in a hospital. So I've dealt with several different types of people and different backgrounds. So knowing how to speak to people plays a big part in getting stuff done and having people to help you versus how you speak to them, because your tone can mean a lot when it comes to helping someone or just guiding them to get the next best thing. All right, um, fantastic. Okay. Yeah, so the communication part is definitely important. What's the most important thing to you about the next company that you work for? Um, room for growth. I want to be able to step up and grow within the company, not just stay at one position for 20 years. I want to actually evolve. Eventually okay. probably have my own team under me. Okay. I love that. I love I love the forward progression of where you see your career going and wanting yeah. to get put into a company that's going to help develop the skills. So I think that's fantastic. Aside from proprietary software that's, you know, built just for a specific company, what other software programs do you feel pretty comfortable on? Um, I've done Salesforce. That's actually pretty interesting. A lot of different healthcare and other companies I've worked that um, does it for different things. And it's really tricky. I've done um, Quadramed. That's also a healthcare system, but not okay. everyone uses it. Um, 
I've worked with ECW, mainly patient records, retrieval okay. record, and different um healthcare insurance systems to verify the insurance as well. Okay. All right. Fantastic. Chanel, if offered an opportunity, how soon would you be available to start? Um, I would like to be professional at least give two weeks notice. That's best practice because okay, it's just something that's been instilled in me for years. That's the best way to do it. You don't want to burn any bridges. I like that answer. Good, good answer. All right. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording and chat with you a little bit more if that sounds good. That's fine.